It's currently late on Friday evening, and uh, unfortunately, the video that I had planned for this week is going to be late. Uh, it will probably be out Monday or Tuesday, just due to some weird logistical things that are mostly my fault. Uh, so rather than leave no video up here, I thought we might have a quick look at the drive issue uh, in my multibot and see if I can fix it really quickly. Hello, everybody. I am Ben from Team Panic. <laughs> So of course the issue with the drive being that the pulleys were rounding out and whatever I tried, I was not getting the D shaft to grip properly and it was just losing traction and whatever system I put in broke, uh, including these were actually running what's called a scotch key or something akin to a scotch key, which actually held up on the other side of the robot. So if we take off the other side armor, you can see there is a wood screw here jamming in against the flat of the shaft and that has held and this one works totally fine. Same on this side, actually, there is another scotch key in here. Scotch keys, these are kind of loose approximations of a scotch key, apparently. Uh, so this gave me an idea. If we can throw a screw down that way to fix things into the motor shaft, why can't we throw a screw down this way? So the whole idea of this, and I have no idea if this is going to show up on camera or not, is that by screwing in a screw down the side, we effectively use the screw itself to be the flat of the shaft for the D shaft. Again, I have no idea if this is gonna work. This is a crazy madcap idea I've come up with uh, in the last week and decided to throw some pr uh, prints on the printer to see what is gonna happen here. Okay, so here we go. This is the screw going into position and you can see it move along I'm losing where the camera is, there we go. You can see it moves along in underneath there and this screw goes all the way through the entirety of the pulley, which means that we're pushing against basically all of this material and what I'm hoping is that this doesn't round out. All right, let's get these installed. I'm gonna stress test these by only installing two of them and doing a few tests to see if we can get these to strip out. We were stripping out four quite easily, so two of them, if they are as weak as the old system, they will strip out. So, with the new gears in, it is time for some testing. And first up, we're gonna do a quick twitch test, just back and forth, make sure everything still works. Cool, and we got that, that's good. That is a really, really good start. Next up, I was gonna do a spin test because the robot was definitely having trouble turning on the spot, especially rapidly turning back and forth.
So this was kind of hard to do in the very limited space that I have uh, available to me. I was trying to, I have a little recessed area, so if the robot starts like trying to run away, it really can't. Uh, but that is only a very small area, so attempting to spin the robot up was a little bit difficult. Did manage to get there, managed to get it spun up in both directions. Everything seems to be going well. Now it is time for the hard challenge, a pushing test. Now I am going all out with this because not only are we running only two drive motors, but I am also putting it up against my actual featherweight uh, without any wheels or anything. So this is the worst case scenario, a grounded out hunk of like eight kilograms of steel. Oh, and that was going really well for a second, but now one of the drive motors has stopped uh, and we need to check that out for sure. I am so, so confused as to how this has happened. Okay, so this here is the problem wheel. It is the front left wheel and you can see that the pulley here is moving, but the shaft is not moving. It does pick up occasionally, but it's got a whole lot of slop in it and this was actually worse before. Um, for some reason it's picked back up a little bit now, but there is no way, oh, there we go, we've slipped all the way around. Uh, but we get, yeah, there's a huge amount of slop in this now. There is no way that that should be able to happen with the bolt in here. So we need to grab this bolt back out again, or grab this pulley back off again, and see what's happened to our poor bolt. Okay, I have no idea how visible this is on camera, but our bolt is now pointing basically directly at the flat of the motor. That should not be possible. I am so very confused. All right, let me pull this bolt out if I can, if it lets me, it may not let me pull this bolt back out of here. Oh, this is difficult. I have no idea how well the camera is gonna pick this up, but this bolt is good and proper destroyed. Uh, so we have threads all the way down till about here. Uh, and then after this point, all of the threads have been completely stripped and removed. I think the bolt is still the same length that it was, but it definitely got just annihilated down this side. Uh, we'd probably need a hardened steel bolt, I reckon, to do this and get this to work because yeah, that is just, and especially as where it's made contact with the actual shaft, it is just annihilated. I've never seen a bolt quite this bad, uh, especially not an M3 bolt. So, and that's what this is. This is just a, a regular old M3 bolt. Maybe with a uh, hardened steel M3, it might've survived, maybe. Uh, I kind of doubt that though. And look, the thing is, even if this survived, the pulley down here probably would not. This is literally just a PLA pulley. So I can't imagine what damage has been done to this if uh, as the bolt has had that much damage taken. Um, although looking inside of it right now, uh, it actually seems to not be doing too badly. I'm not 100% sure what's going on here. 
but yeah, you could see though that that bolt had stripped and rounded out quite considerably. So mm, that might not be the best approach. Uh, also actually, yeah, interestingly, looking down this hole here, it does seem there's like been elongated in a direction uh, and plugged up with gunk on the other end. So that's unusual, I think, cause yeah, it was just wearing away the bolt basically to try and keep this uh, whole system running. And the motor shaft down here is pretty bad as well. It is beaten and chewed up. I think it's mostly chewed up uh, from the Scotch King that I did in the actual event uh, with the screws because there is definitely like screw ridges ground into this shaft now. It's amazing how much output power this thing has. So I've actually decided against taking the other side apart. It does still work and it is still moving. Uh, however, we know that this system doesn't work. We destroyed one bolt already. Uh, it is going to just keep chewing bolts uh, until it breaks everything. So we need a better system. We do need to, yeah, machine hubs or laser cut hubs or something. I don't know yet. I work that out uh, in the future. This was just a quickie test to see if we could get something working with the equipment that I had on hand. And the answer is no, which is unfortunate, but sometimes that is the way this type of thing goes. Anyway, uh, that is gonna be it for this video. If you are interested in the video that was supposed to be here, it should be out either Monday or Tuesday, depending on when logistical things get resolved. Uh, so hopefully I will see you in the next video.